We're here because we feel that the communist Chinese government has betrayed the promise it gave to the people of Hong Kong to give them meaningful universal suffrage, to give them real democracy. But one should not be surprised. The history of communism since the Russian Revolution of 1917 has been one long litany of such betrayals. Animal Farm was published four years before 1984 in 1945, just at the end of the Second World War. It is a fairy tale for children. It is a story about talking animals. But below the surface, it is a history of the Soviet Union from the Russian Revolution right up until the end of the Second World War. I can't read that without thinking of Hong Kong. Orwell's point was that communists have so much betrayed their ideals that they've become as bad and as indistinguishable as their declared enemies. As a democratic socialist, Orwell believed not only that communists had become as cruel and as oppressive as a capitalist foes, but were shamelessly willing to cooperate with them in order to exploit and control ordinary people. Um, finally then, I'd just like to say, remember the eyes of the world are on you. Today you go online to the BBC, you go online to CNN, you will see this event being covered by the world's media. It is embarrassing for Beijing, it's embarrassing for the government here, but thousands of young people are doing this. Let's hope this can make a difference.